Hi fellas, it's Knives back here again with another quick inbox review. And this time we have Eddard's MiG 21R Pro Free Pack. Okay, now I've been after a MiG 21 from Eddard for, for a while. Uh, the ones I've been seeing, I, there have been other kits I've wanted to do in the time, so I've got them. And But when I saw this when I was on holiday, I thought, yeah, I've got to have this, you know, I'm on holiday, so you've got to, you know, you've got to pick up something, haven't you? Okay, so with this one, this is, this is the R, so this is the reconnaissance version. So we have five schemes, which we'll look at closer uh, when we look at the instructions, and some nice box art. All right, so what we'll do, we'll dive straight into it and get on with the review. So as ever, we Eddard, we get multiple packets of plastic bits. Okay, some photo etch. Uh, the decals themselves and obviously the instructions so we are we get a bit of bump or an introduction uh, about the actual aircraft itself straight on to the, the the sprue map okay where all the parts are as you can see there's plenty that won't be used you know, some of these weapons and and what have you We've then got the colour call out in uh, Mr. Hobby, uh, Aquarius and Mr. Colour. Okay, and then we got straight on into the interior. So, straight up, we've got the mix for the interior. Uh, which I have got the colours up there. And I've also got a ready, ready uh, mixed pot, which when I come to the build, I'll go through that. So we start off with the wheel well, moving on to the instrument panel, be a decal or photo etch okay more on the wheel well as you can see and putting the uh, instrument panel on and then on to the engine itself then move on to the main wheel well okay uh, the some more going on to the uh, cockpit and as you can see it's got some photo edge or you've got a decal option you can choose the fuselage going together with the engine some bracing spars at uh, the back of the cockpit and a uh, the nose the nose kind of, it says put the weight in but it doesn't give you any uh, how much to actually put in there so it's a case of you know guessing and seeing what you can do moving on to putting the massive tail fin on this uh, aircraft uh, and the spine the spine is all one piece so it's covering uh, the join line uh, a bit more onto the actual undercarriage uh, if you want the air brakes open or closed so you take that part out you can have them open or closed uh, some bits and pieces again for the the actual uh, undercarriage and then mating the wings to the actual fuselage then the, the upper wings going on and then the straights either a PE or plastic whichever you, you want to do and then you've got the open or closed is that another part of the air brake I'm not certain because that's there I don't know what that bit is but that even open or closed <clears throat> and then you can see the uh, it must be an air brake, you know, a, a big part of the thing, the, the open, the open parts. Uh, then we move on to the undercarriage itself, quite detailed, quite a lot of parts. Back up onto the top of the fuselage, doing the, uh, the, on the nose for the instrument panel and cover. And then onto the seat itself with its P buckles and all that sort of stuff. Uh, some more <coughs> bits are adding adding onto it uh, for the different parts for the the canopy. Some uh, mirrors putting on. You can have this canopy open or closed, and then moving on to the some of the ordnance. So you've got a fuel tank, you've got a few rockets, uh, a a pod that goes on there I'm, I'm assuming that's something to do with the rec reconnaissance version and then putting on the actual uh, pylons for the rockets 
and then there we are <coughs> point on the uh the rockets and how how they all go on there and some more of the, the this sprd whatever that is uh and adding them on like so we've then got the masking for for the tail uh the canopy uh and all that sort of stuff and then the color call outs for the actual uh the pod okay the reconnaissance pod underneath uh the two different versions russian stencils check and check stencils and again same with the pylons and the rockets and then we've got the color call out so we'll start off with this one it's from the soviet air force and it's a three tone camo for four tone camo four different colors uh, and the underneath as well uh, so yeah that could be really really interesting scheme we've got an all metal finish for a uh, is it a Yugoslav yeah Yugoslav Air Force from 1971 then we've got a Czech Air Force again really interesting scheme and then we've got another all metal finish of the Polish Air Force and then a Cuban Air Force from the 80s and 90s which again is quite a cool scheme and then finally we've got the stencil data so all the decals and all that sort of stuff so we'll move on first to the packs and uh, you get two big bags with multiple sprues in there so we'll just open these up quickly I will start with the tail and as you can see straight off hopefully we've got some nice detail some rivet detail really subtle and subtle panel lines with a spine as well it's all looking really really nice can't see any problems with that at all on to some of these reconnaissance pods and the instrument panel, the one for the PE and the one for the decal. Uh, the peer tube and some other bits and pieces for the cockpit. Again, all really, really nice detail. The two reconnaissance pods, two different types, so or is it maybe even three? Who knows, we'll find that out when we build it. So we've got these two here. Uh, these two and these two what it looks like so again some really nice detail on there now a lot of these parts won't be used but these are all for the ordnance so all the tail fins uh, and all that sort of stuff so not much to write home but again Moulded really, really nicely. Some, some of the dangly bits and other bits and pieces, maybe for the cockpit and what have you. Two big fuel tanks, I believe, when they have got the raised detail, which is correct for the uh, fuel tanks. And the same again with the smaller fuel tanks. So we've got a big fuel tank on the either side and a small fuel tank either side, along with the these must be the maybe the chaff dispensers for the uh, uh the decoy part uh weapons or whatever they are okay and then we've got some more of the uh pylons on here with some of the uh, the rockets and the weapons again all look really nice and that is just a duplicate of the sprue we've just seen so we get two of those sprue Next up, a bag with three parts in. And I can get it out. Stuck on there. Somewhere. There we are. Okay. So, the main fuselage. Again, some really, really nice detail. Some scuff marks, but they shouldn't be a problem. Some more of the pylons and bits and pieces. 
But again, some really, really nice detail all down this. Uh, and then we have got some more of the, the fuselage. So not the fuselage, the cockpit, so the cockpit and the uh, wheel wells. So that's a front wheel well. We've got parts of the the rear wheel well. I think that might be part of the the engine, these parts. Same as goes for, for that there. Again, some really nice detail all around. Some more of the instrument panels, look. Next one up is parts of the, the engine. So you can just see the engine there and the, the nozzle. And the really nice detail on the actual seat. Which make, should make up to look like a really, really nice seat. Wheel parts and undercarriage. Some nice detail on the back of the bay doors. And then the last grey plastic sprue, we move on to the wings. So lower wings. Yeah, you can see all the lovely detail on there. Upper wings. Okay. And the internal for the wheel well. And then we've got the one part tail uh, tail fins. Next up, we've got the clear part and as you can see, we've got plenty in there. Yeah, and one room's broken off. I just hope it's not damaged too much. And again, as with most Eddard clear parts, they are super, super clear. We also have a clear part for the, the instrument panel. We've got one, actually, we've got one, two, three, four, five parts for the instrument panel there. Uh, there is another uh, windshield in there. I'm not going to take it out because I don't want to get damaged. But again, they look really, really nice. Then we have got our photo etch. So we've got a colour part. Standard Edward photo etch, and then we've got our normal photo etch for the, some of the external parts. So you can see we've got the three parts. So it depends on which way you go, which way, uh, which one you would use. And then we've got the seat belts and the instrument panels. And then the other one's just a little bit of masking for the all the parts that need masking off. And then after that, we have got the decal sheet. So I'll just quickly open this. And obviously, because this is a jet, you get quite a few sheets. So printed by cartograph. So these should be excellent. So the main decals. Czech, Russian, Polish. Cuban and Yugoslav all the other way around and there the decals for the instrument panel which to be fair are some of the best instrument panel decals I've seen I'm not going to show you the one because all that is is just the uh, the stencils so there we are that's Eddard's uh, well one of Eddard's boxings of the MiG-21 there's there's plenty of different ones out there there's a profi pack for uh, I think near enough every version uh, there is the weekend edition, which weekend edition you can pick up for less than twenty pound. Now, if you think about weekend edition, you get, you get everything apart from from these, and only got get one or maybe two schemes. So for twenty pound or thereabouts, it's really not a bad price. Uh, this will build up into a lovely looking Mic Twenty One, and I'm really looking forward to to going cracking with it. I've been wanting to do one for a while, right? That's it for now, fellas. I will see you on the next one. Bye.